welcome to another episode of Todd Plays Video Games. Today we're playing Space Simulation Toolkit, a game that I played and made a video of a little bit ago, and then almost immediately after I released it, they added a bunch of stuff to the game. They came out with a big patch, and they added new things. It's in early access, so it's constantly being added on to and, and enhanced and, and stuff, and now they've added machine parts which opens up a whole bunch of new possibilities so let's let's go ahead and get started and we'll uh, we'll go over some of the new stuff they've added so we're going to create the, we're going to create the simplest possible machine using the new machine stuff that I know how to make so we're going to use the rotator and so bam we've got a rotator thing there and then here we add a solar panel so all the parts, like a rotator, has to have electricity. And as far as I know, the only way to get electricity is from solar panels and adding a sun object. Now they might eventually, like it's early access, they're always adding things. So if you're watching this video a year from now, maybe they'll have added other ways to generate electricity. And maybe they already have new ways, other ways to generate electricity. And I just don't know about them. I'm not an expert in this game, but I'll show you what I do know. So we've got a solar panel. And we've got a rotator machine, so when we add sunlight, whoops, that's not sunlight, this is sun, okay. When we add the sun object, boop, this, <laughs> there, there it goes, it's off, it's, it, it's on, it's on an adventure, it's on its own adventure, it's bouncing into the edge of the universe, so, it's rotate the giant mass is rotating now and um because it's in a complete vacuum and there's no gravity and there's no atmosphere to slow it down or any other force to act on it it is just going in a, i guess a gigantic circle <laughs> and that is uh that is the simplest way yeah it is it's just gonna fly around the sun i guess in a big circle that's the simplest way to make a machine but uh you can do better things with machines than just this. Let's go ahead and delete this, although that's fun too. I mean, what, what else do you want to make? Okay, so I'm going to show you a new tool here in the draw tool. They've added draw pinned, which is a way that you can create uh, things that won't move at all. You pin, you draw this pinned, and it's never it's never going to move it's important when you finish drawing something as pinned to uncheck the draw pinned button i cannot tell you how many times i have drawn something that i wanted to be free and move like normal except i accidentally still had draw pinned clicked and so then the thing doesn't move and i wonder why doesn't it move and it's yeah because it's pinned it can't it can't move okay let's do this oh and this is acting as a shield this big piece of metal is blocking sunlight from being able to get in here so if we build another moving machine oh the sunlight went right through that well i'm wrong this does not block sunlight <laughs> live and learn uh, i thought metal would block it okay so we're just going to delete the sun for right now and then this will eventually cool off. And actually, we don't even need this. Okay, let's do this. This is one of my favorite things to build that I figured out how to build. So we're going to make this whole... Oh, we're going to make a big metal sphere. And then we're going to cut out the inside and fill it in with water. Actually, I should have made the metal sphere... I should have pinned it <laughs> so it wouldn't move around or anything. But it's too late now. We've already got it. So we've got a sphere filled with water, and uh, it is slowly freezing over. At least the top part should. We're going to put a thing inside it, and the thing is going to be... Actually, do I want it to be a rotor? Maybe I do. All right, we're going to make the thing out of metal. Its uh, hull is going to be metal. We're going to put little solar panels on all four sides. Now, metal is conductive. Like, you can do plastic, and plastic is not conductive. Pl uh, electricity won't go through plastic. Electricity will pass through metal, though. So we can do this, and anything we attach to the metal is going to get electrified by those solar panels. So, instead of the rotor this time... Well, yeah, no, let's do a rotor. Let's, let's do a rotor. Oh, you know what? Let's do the rotor in here, in the center. 
So that should that should get us rotoring. And then we're also going to put a laser on it. All right. And the laser, as far as I can tell, the main the main thing, the only thing the laser does is emits energy. Oh my goodness, I'm getting a phone call. I can't come to the phone right now. I'm sorry. Todd can't come to the phone right now. He's busy playing a video game. Okay, so I've paused the simulation. I've moved, and now I'm moving the thing into the sphere, the water sphere. Now I'm unpausing it. Now, if you try to move something through a solid object, the way I passed, moved this into here, uh, if you try to do that while the game is not paused, it will collide and explode and it'll be terrible. If you pause the game, though, you can move physical things right over and through each other. So that's a, that's a tip. Pro tip. Okay, and now we have to, we have to give it a little bit of electricity in order for it to uh, start going, right? So I'm going to put a little bit of sun right here. And what we just saw, and I paused it, what we just saw is that apparently sunlight can go through the metal. So this should go through the metal, hit the solar panels, power the device, and two things should happen. The device should start rotating with the rotator in the center of it, and it should start firing its laser, which we will see as just basically beams of heat shooting out of it. So, and I'm going to turn off the sun after just a little bit because I don't want the sun's heat to heat the water and melt the metal and interact with everything. I just want it to power up the device, and then I'm going to delete the sun. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, unpause. Okay, see, now it's not going, you can see it's heating, but it's not going, sunlight's not going through. Uh, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to take acrylic glass. I've paused it. And I'm going to turn this into acrylic glass, which is a window that the sunlight can go through. So I'm pausing in three, two, one. There we go. Success. Sunlight is going through and is powering up the solar panels and the whole ding dang thing is moving okay i've deleted the sun and what is oh my gosh it's not doing anything it's got a very tiny little bit of electricity okay so here's something i have figured out you can click on uh the solar panels specifically but any of the other machine parts and see how much electricity is kind of in them so we can see, oh my gosh, it's freezing over. And so you can see it didn't get charged up. It didn't get any electricity. Why do I keep going to that button? This is the sun. Okay, we're going to do more sun. And I don't know why it didn't get more energy than that, but we'll make this uh, thinner. Maybe, maybe that'll help. I hope it doesn't melt. But if we make this a uh, larger window and thinner material, maybe that'll help. It's not much thinner, but it is a larger window. And then I'm going to go into the sun settings, emit energy. Let's turn it up so it emits more energy than it did before. Now it'll, it's going to have to melt that ice, I think, to even get to it. Okay, let's unpause it there we go that's better okay well the laser exploded <laughs> but uh, you could probably see for a moment delete that actually it's still doing it you can see beams of heat shooting out of where the the laser i guess there's probably still a couple pieces of laser yeah this is laser there's still a little bit of laser material here and it's shooting out these waves of heat into the water that's what the I thought it would show up better there, but you can t you can see how the laser beams are melting the ice in whatever direction it's pointing, and the rotator is making the whole thing spin around. So we we have created a thing. We've created a a machine. I don't know what you would call this a rotating laser, which is probably a very dangerous machine. Realistically, I don't know that you can go into the electro setting and you can move it, but it never actually changes for me. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. It seems like you should be able to go through here and just set it to having higher electricity than it does. But oh well. Oh, maybe you have to go into, say, one of the solar panels and change that number. Eh, I don't know. 
I don't know. Anyway, it is it is working. Uh, our our little machine is the only source of heat. Now that I've removed the sun I, uh, icon, sun po property, this little machine is the only source of heat keeping some of this melted, keeping some of this at bay. All right, so what else can we do? Well, here, we can add a new sun right there, and that's going to charge it all up again. Let's change energy emitting to a lot. Okay, get rid of the sun. There we go. Oh my gosh, more of it destroyed itself. But lasers are shooting out of here like crazy now. That's neat. Okay, let's do a different thing. Woo. Kapoo. We're going to make a new one. Planet. We're going to stick with planet. All right, let's do... Let's make a, a rotor move, rotate. So let's see. We're going to use the pinned option, the new pinned option. We're going to create a metal circle thing here. And then around it, we're going to create a movable, free-floating, free movable metal ring. And attached to this free floating metal ring we're going to have this one long spigot and on the end of the spigot we'll create a rotator and then all along here we'll have solar panels and now if we add a sun object oh well it broke it broke right off. Okay. <laughs> Come back here. But for a moment, maybe we don't need it to be a whole big thing. We'll just make that. Oh, okay. Well, destroyed, destroyed that. Uh, we're going to, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to pause it and we're going to create this metal ring around the pinned section. It's not really a perfect circle, is it? Oh, well. Okay. Whoof! -da. Oh, and the <laughs> rotor shards are still, still flying around. Okay. And we're going to add a rotator right there. And then I paused it. We're going to add solar panels all around it. And it's it's a very small amount of rotator rotating a very large thing, but it is it is moving it. I mean, oh boy, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Oh, look at it go. Okay, one last try. One last try in this one. You get the basic idea. You get the basic idea. But what if we do this? What if we? do that and then we do oh my goodness oh I bet it's still got electricity left over this has electricity in it the spigot has electricity left over from before because the electricity uh, passed from this metal into the metal of the spigot so look at that I mean that's all we ended up needing now <laughs> So I don't know exactly what to do with this, but you can imagine that with a rotator like this, you have the tools you need to build a machine. You can build a rotating gear system or something. You can build uh, all kinds of contraptions, I suppose. I feel like there is a lot here that I don't understand yet or or uh, you know really know how to take advantage of yet because there's a lot of potential there's a lot of potential and honestly i mean the machines are fantastic 
build uh, the the rotators and the solar panels and all that's very neat but honestly just the ability to do this to create a perfectly pinned object that doesn't break is kind of huge so anyway i hope you have enjoyed this video of me playing around with um these newfangled machine parts i've certainly had a good time and uh we'll, we'll play again soon Thank you and good night.